welcome back to my channel so today we're going to do my nails and i'm going to show you how i do my it's called a pressed gel x nails okay so i started doing my nails about a few months ago and today i decided to film it this is my whole setup right here okay so first we're going to start off with these are just dehydrators for your nails uh both of them are from the brand mia secrets you can use those to the mia secrets website or just go to amazon like everything i use in this video is from amazon literally and i'll also have my amazon store linked in the description so you can check it out just in case you want to use some products or even start doing your own nails and learn the process i use i find it really easy okay so both of them like i said just two dehydrators and uh, i think one of them is like a prime and prep yeah but i have everything in the description okay and i'm not a nail tech none whatsoever like when i first started i tried to do acrylic powders no ma'am that, that's not for me i will save that to the professionals because no right okay so moving on to the actual nail process so these are the gel x nails i have coffin and mine is in the size medium and what i use actually came in a kit so it came with nail glue and the nails so you're gonna put the like you just saw you're gonna put the glue um like halfway on the nail and you press it down and then put it under your uv light i don't know why this process is so hard for me because like you have to put the nail on press it all the way down so like the glue is going to come down all the way i'll link a video that i watched on youtube that showed me exactly how to do it okay she shows it much better than i do i'm still learning okay but it's pretty easy and it does take some practice this is like my mm, fourth time doing it yeah i'm getting better but yeah it is a process but you'll get there okay because the more i do it the more eh, my nails look better i'm not gonna say it's easier no <laughs> i'm not gonna say it's easier mm -mm. for me anyway maybe for somebody else but yeah but you just put it under your uv light and it will stick okay and it's gonna dry the glue that's all so i'm just taking it and pressing it down and also the uv light is also from amazon again i'll have all this stuff linked okay all right i'm gonna take it out and i use it hmm, probably about five minutes if that so i'm just going in with my melanie Susie drill also from Amazon, it came with the drill, came with the little uh, buds that you see. All that stuff is also in the kit. So I'm just taking and kind of sealing my nails around my cuticle area. And you know, this part is actually easy for me. Why? I don't know. But I can do that real simple, no problem. So I'm just going around the cuticle area, the seal in the nail. Okay. And then... I drilled on top of it just a little bit. You could either get the shine off with your drill or you can use a buffer. Yeah, I think it's called a buffer. Yeah, and you're gonna see me do that too. So I just do that to all of my nails. And I think I got my speed on low, I'm sure. I think, yeah, the drill I have um it doesn't have numbers on it for the speed it's like a it's like a little scroller but it goes like from high to low to medium so you know so like i said i'm gonna take my buffer instead of using the drill on all of them i'm gonna take my buffer and just getting the shine off the nail because you don't need that and it will mess up the polish so definitely buff your nails to get the shine off you want it to be yes raw yeah basically you want your nails to be raw plain absolutely nothing on them it's just like when you're doing your makeup you don't want anything on your face before you start your process you want your face to be clean purified and ready for the application same thing with the nails okay so on to the filing okay since these nails are already shaped you honestly don't have to shape them i do it a little bit and I'm not that good at it. Like, this part is also very hard to me. I can do the top part no fine. I can uh, I can do the top part fine. But the sides, 
yeah, like, I don't know what I'd be doing. Like, my nail file don't be trying to go the direction that I want it to be going. So, I only do a little bit of that. So, yeah. I'm just going to take my uh, f- fluff or whatever that is, clean off the nails, okay? All the dust and whatnot. So, I have to have my nails on. I'm just going in with a base coat. So, I just started doing this. Usually, I don't use a base coat before. I put my actual polish on, but I decided to try it this time. So, so I saw, mm, well, the girl that I washed it, I got this technique from. Um, I forgot what she said, but you know what? I kind of like it, you know, putting the base coat on. So I feel like it makes the polish last a little longer and look a little better. I've had my nails done for about a week now, and the polish is still looking really, really good. So I think I kind of like this step, and I'm going to keep doing it. And the brand is from Beatles, and you get this from Amazon. And I'm just applying it to all my nails because I already did my other hand off camera just so I can know what I was already going to do. Because I'm very, uh, mm, I don't want to say difficult. I never know how I want my nails to look, what designs I want, what colors. So I definitely wouldn't do it off camera first before I started filming because it already takes all day for me to do my nails. So yeah, that step was necessary. So after I put the base on each nail, I'm just going to put it in the UV lamp for about mm, three to five minutes. Pull it out. So the colors I decided to do is black. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to put that on every other nail. And I do use two coats. So this is the first coat. It's something so relaxing and satisfying about polishing nails and just you just see a good coated nail. It look real good. It's so satisfying to watch. So I did it on every other nail and then I left the other two nails playing because I'm gonna put a glitter nail on that. A glitter polish. And you always want to put your hand, put your nail in the UV lamp after, you know, you've painted the ones that you wanted to, right? Because they will mess up real easily. I learned that, like, the first two times. Don't be trying to do all that at one time. Like, paint your whole hand at one time. No, just when you get done with one color, put it in. Take it out. Do the other hand. We'll do the other colors. And put it in the lamp. Take it back out and just repeat the step. Okay, you always want to do two coats at least. One coat is not, uh, it depends on the polish, but I, two coats is enough because you really get the full coverage that you want. Okay, so this is me going in with my second coat. second coat of the glitter polish and the brand is called uh, oh my goodness I can't even remember it but I will put it in the description it was just in my head and it comes in a set actually I think it's about six colors it's like a silver a gold blue pink purple they have a few different colors in them and I chose to use this one today and they're really cute I'm not really a glitter type of girl when it comes to polish so this is kind of out of my comfort zone but it came out cute, like it's okay, but yeah, putting glitter on my nails will definitely be an area blue moon type of thing. But I think this is like really cute for New Year's, Christmas, you know, occasions like that. take my nails out and so for the nails that I'm not putting a design on putting a design on I'm going to I'm going to do the top coat okay I don't know why I can't talk I have to do the voice over I don't know lord how's long so just don't don't mind me okay 
But yeah, I'm just going to do a top coat on my thumb and also on my pinky because I'm not going to do a design on those. And you also want to put a top coat on there if you're not going to do a design because dust and anything else will get on your nails and it's going to be real hard to get off. So yeah, once you're done, you know you got to do nothing else to them, seal them, put it in a UV lamp and you'll be good. Just I've definitely learned my mistakes and lessons and what to do and what not to do when it comes to doing your nails. It's definitely a process. So it's time for the design press. So I'm going to use these butterflies. It's a pack of butterflies I got from Amazon. I'm going to use one of the colorful ones and two of the small black butterflies. Yeah. I don't know which ones I wanted to use or even if I had one to use these butterflies. So I'm like, um, I couldn't really decide because I mostly only use jewels on my nails. But I wanted to try something different. And it's okay. <laughs> again, I don't know if I'd be using them again. I don't know. But, it, I mean, the nails, they turned out cute. But, you know, when you try stuff out of your comfort zone, you just be looking like, what did I do that for? Yeah, that was me. But I like this. So, you just cut out the ones you want and put them in some water. You don't have to let it stay in there long, maybe about three minutes. And just take a little, um, either a tweezer or whatever you have around, nail tool to pull it out the water and you just stamp it on your nail. So this is me cutting out the two small black butterflies that I have wanted to use. I didn't know if I wanted to use the bigger ones or the smaller ones, but I decided to go with the smaller ones since I already had a big one on one of my nails. So I'm just taking this little sponge nail tool. I really don't know what that's for, but I think it's used to like maybe put your jewels in place i'm going to assume that's what it's for i'm not sure yeah not a nail tech here all right all right so i'm just placing the butterfly and it's still wet so i'm just placing it on my nail and this point it's not it's a little difficult because the the stamp is sticky it's not sticky it's wet i mean so it does slide around a bit and the butterfly i chose you know like the little legs of the butterfly that's also on there and it had kind of like got under it so i had to peel it back peel it back and finally got it on there yeah that's what i needed to do so i'm just taking uh one of the small little butterflies that i have on it and tried to put it where i had it on my other nail i'm not a perfectionist but uh, when things are not in order and not in place and they don't look the same it kind of irritates me so like i was really I almost needed a magnifying glass because I wanted it in the same position that I had on my other hand. I don't think I did that, but whatever. Who's looking at both of your hands anyway? So it doesn't matter. So after I have finally got them on, I just put it in the UV lamp. Next, I'm going to go in with my jewels. And I'm going to use some, I think it's pronounced McCartwright or something like that. But it's nail glue. It's really good. Also, less is more when it comes to nail glue. You do not have to use a lot. This is like for rhinestones and yeah, uh, the rest of those little um, jewels that you put on your nails, like them bears and all the extra stuff. Okay, I don't do all that. The rhinestones, that's good enough for me. All right. So I'm just taking, um, I think I took the medium size ones. I'm not sure, but I put three at the top. And then I put two at the bottom of the butterfly. And it came in a pack in that little container. Also came with it. So I just took and dumped it in there. All right, so now I'm just going in and putting the two at the bottom. I'm using the nail tweezers. putting it back in a uv lamp to let it dry because they will slide down your rhinestone especially if you have a lot of glue on there it will slide and you will put it in the lamp and take it back out and your rhinestones will not be in the same place that you put them in and you will be upset it has happened to me so yeah 
So I'm just going to the other nail and putting just a little bit of glue. You really can't see it. So next time when I film this process, I'm kind of like gonna zoom in more and also have more light zone. I'm just putting at the top and at the bottom. So I'm gonna put one rhinestone at the top and one at the bottom. And the ones I have, they're like rainbow, I think. But it may be silver, and it may be just iridescent, so they look like rainbow when you're looking at them. Yeah, that's what they are. step you're going to put your top coat on the rest of your nails and you can put it on top of your rhinestones if you want to me i do so i feel like it's kind of hard not to and then afterwards i just go in before i put it in the u before i put my nails back in the uv lamp to let it dry i go back in with that little stencil sponge and kind of just tap over the rhinestones to get the to get the polish off of them i don't know if it uh affected or not i doubt it if it's if you let it stay on there but i just do it just because